everyone doing? I hope everyone is having a good Tuesday. I'm back here again with a new video and in this video I'm going to start showing off my CD collection. As I've said in my past videos I've been wanting to do videos related to my music collection and my CD collection and I thought I would start showing off my CDs now. Now I don't have a very large CD collection so I'm probably only going to be doing a couple videos showing off uh, my CDs, um, but I do have some pretty great albums uh, from some classic rock artists as well as some heavy metal artists as well, and I know that you guys uh, will enjoy it. I will also be doing a video showing off all of my music and music concert DVDs, as well as the rest of my dad's vinyl collection and my cassettes as well. But without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Now the first couple of albums I'm going to show off are from my all-time favorite band, and that is Guns N' Roses. Uh, they were one of the first bands that I ever really fell in love with back when I was very, very young. And I have all their albums on CD, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show them all for you guys. So the first one I'm going to show off is, of course, their debut album, Appetite for Destruction. One of the greatest debut albums of all time and one of the greatest uh, rock and roll albums of all time, in my opinion. This is such a classic album. Up next, we have GNR Lies. And then Use Your Illusion 1. Use Your Illusion 2. And The Spaghetti Incident. Then we have Live Era, 87 to 93. The Greatest Hits Album. And Chinese Democracy. Okay. Now this next CD is not an official release by the band, but it is music by one of Axl Rose's and, I and Izzy Stradlin's um, previous bands before Guns N' Roses. And that is Hollywood Rose. And this is one of the band's... Um, that was combined uh, to create Guns N' Roses. The other band was L.A. Guns. Um, Hollywood Rose and L.A. Guns came together and, you know, they created Guns N' Roses with different members, you know, from each band. Um, but this is just a collection of four, I mean, not four, uh, five uh, demo recordings um, that they did, and, as well as um, newly remixed uh, recordings from Gilby Clark and uh, Fred Corey, I believe is how you pronounce it, um, his last name, but... Um, yeah, this is a pretty good uh, CD for anyone who hasn't heard any of his music. Um, you know, I do enjoy, uh, you know, the type of music that they played. You know, the straightforward, you know, rock and roll. Um, Alright, now this next album I'm going to show off is from a band that was one of the first metalcore bands I ever got into. Now, when I was younger, I was not a fan of uh, music where the lead singer screamed. You know, it just wasn't the type of music I was into. But this was one of the first bands that had screaming vocals that I really got into. Um, uh, my cousin introduced them to me, and uh, he introduced me to a lot of other really great heavy metal bands. Like, pretty much all the, you know, good heavy metal bands of today, he introduced me to. Um, but that band was All That Remains, and this is their album, The Fall of Ideals, which is an absolutely amazing album. Um, you guys may re remember the song Six um, if you played Guitar Hero. I believe it was on Guitar Hero 2, but I might be wrong. But the first time I ever heard that song was on Guitar Hero. And um, yeah, these guys have always been one of my favorite metalcore bands. Um, really enjoy their music. Um, I even enjoy their newer music, even though their newer music really isn't really heavy anymore. I still enjoy their music. I actually saw them live at Carolina Rebellion uh, last May. Which um, I do plan on doing a video um, talking about uh, my experience at Carolina Rebellion since uh, you know Carolina Rebellion 2018 is coming up in May and um, you know I, I really had a really amazing experience and I want to talk about that. Um, but yeah, All the Remains, one of the first uh, bands that I really got in, one of the first metalcore bands that I really got into, and The Fall of Ideals is definitely their best album. Next album is a classic uh, 
you know, they're heavy metal band, but they're also considered new metal, but it's The Sickness by Disturbed. Again, another band that my cousin got me into. Um, of course, everybody knows Down With The Sickness. Um, I also really love Voices, Stupefy, um, just a lot of really great, you know, songs on this. Uh, the Game, another really good one. Um, but yeah, Disturbed, one of my favorite heavy metal bands. And now for something a little different. I have uh, Bruce Springsteen, Greatest Hits. I enjoy Bruce Springsteen's music. Um, I'm not a massive fan of him, but I do really enjoy his music. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not like, a, I'm not huge into it, but, you know, of course we got Born to Run, Thunder Road, Glory Days, Born in the USA, um, Glory, you know, um, you know, Human Touch, Better Days, just a lot of really great, great classic rock music right here. Then we have some classic metal with Dio metal hits. You know, Ronnie James Dio, um, I was a fan of him. Uh, I actually got introduced to his uh, solo work before I got introduced to uh, his work with Black Sabbath, you know, after um, Ozzy left. Um, but I do really enjoy his music. Um, I never got a chance to see him live before he passed, unfortunately. But, yeah, we got Rainbow in the Dark, Holy Diver, uh, The Last in Line, you know, Evil Eyes, just Dream Evil, a lot of really great stuff. Up next, we have Evanescence and their debut album, Fallen. I got this at Goodwill. Um, Bring Me Back to Life is, you know, definitely the song they're most known for, but also My Immortal, another really great song. And now, I'm going to show off an album from one of my all-time favorite metal bands. Um, you know, another uh, metal band that my cousin Spencer got me into, and these guys are definitely in my top ten favorite bands. And that is Avenged Sevenfold with their album Nightmare. I absolutely love this band. We did get a chance to see them at Carolina Rebellion. They were probably my number one band I wanted to see at Carolina Rebellion. And they were just absolutely amazing. And I really do enjoy their music. Um, you know, they definitely combined a lot of, you know, metal with classic rock sounding, you know, great riffs, you know, great lyrics. Um, just an all-around amazing band. And this is an all-around really, really great album by them. Now this is just kind of a random CD I picked up at Goodwill, uh, an American Christmas. Um, I never, I haven't listened to it, but um, it's got a lot of Christmas songs on it. But I believe they're performed by an orchestra. I'm not really sure. I I know it says in the uh, the booklet, but I mostly got this because I was looking for a CD that had all the great Christmas songs on it, and unfortunately this was not one because, like I said, um, I don't think that any of these songs are performed by the original artist, but, you know, either way, so cool. And then the last uh, set of C's I'm going to show off are from a band called Him, which I was really into um, in my middle school years, and I'm still into now. Um, they recently broke up a few years ago, but I was a big fan of Him. I got inter introduced to them, um, well, like a lot of other people, by Bam Margera from Jackass. He was a huge fan of Him, and, um, you know, I, I got introduced to their music, through him like a lot of other people. Um, first album is Razorblade Romance. I do not have their debut album, Greatest Love Songs, but uh, I have their second album. Um, and uh, really enjoyed this one that says, you know, Your Sweet 666, Poison Girl, Join Me in Death, which is probably the song they're most known for, Right Here in My Arms, uh, Wicked Game, just a lot of really, really great songs. Then we have Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights. And Love Metal, which has one of my favorites, The Sacrament. And then this was the first Him CD I ever bought, and that is And Love Said No, The Greatest Hits, 1997 to 2004, which has one of my favorite Him songs, And Love Said No. And you know, of course, this is their greatest hits album, so um, all their all the songs on this album are great. Then we have Dark Light. Another great album. And then this was the first album that I ever bought that was new. Like, I think I bought this a few months or so after it came out, or maybe a few weeks. Uh, Venus Doom, really, really great album. I absolutely love this album, one of my favorites. 
And I do have their, their DVD, uh, Digital Versatile Doom, which was recorded on that tour. I also have their two other DVDs, but like I said, I will be doing a video showing off all my music and concert DVDs, so I'm not showing that off. But the last Hem album that I own is Screamworks Love in Theory and Practice, which I thought was a pretty good album. Um, I, I didn't like it as much as Venus Doom or Dark Light, but I still thought it had some pretty good songs. And the last one is this re, uh, Screamworks Remixes, which I'm not a fan of this, personally. It's just not for me. And that is just the first part of my CD collection. Like I said, just, you know, a lot of great classic rock right here, but also some modern heavy metal as well. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think about all the CDs I showed off in this video. I know I went kind of fast with them, but I just wanted to show off as many as I could, and I didn't want this video to be pretty long but like I said I will be doing a second video showing off the rest of my CDs and then I will also be doing a video showing off all my music and music concert DVDs as well as uh, my cassettes and my dad's vinyl records so stay tuned for that. Anyway guys thanks to everybody for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said I recently started a Twitter account so if you guys want to follow me on Twitter I'll leave a link down below. I'll also leave a link down below to my Facebook page and to my letterbox page if you guys want to follow me on that as well. Anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope everyone has a great Tuesday.